yeah, 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 ye
once I had once I had self acceptance about any decision I made, it just made the ride so much smoother. But for for instance, um, I do remember being in high school, and um, I used to always get agitated and teased about my weight and stuff, you know. So I used to always that was a challenge for me back then. Mm-hmm. So I already I already knew I had to go within the inner me in order to um, contend with. You know my surroundings, my peers, and right. things, um, and my outlet was really like football. Okay. You know, so by by me being an athlete mm-hmm. and and um, exerting all that energy and my toxins and stuff going right. into football, I was able to release a lot of that stress. Okay. And and still maintain, um, you know, scholastically. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, you know, Antoine. Um, you, you still was a ladies' man, ah. you know. And uh, so, you know, when you just mentioned, hit me with that, you know. Um, you know, do you think that when you look at, as you said, you struggle with your weight? Um, you know, back then it was always slim was better. Right, right, right. You know, but at the same time, you know, just the mere fact that you struggling with that, you still were able to um, – have a peace of mind of who you were right. that you, even though that issue with the weight, it wasn't something that really brought you down to where your confidence just was so at zero. Right. Absolutely. That not. Be true? Right. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's true. Um, I would have to say um, I, I dealt with that basically being a, um, a Christian, a child of God. Okay. I do remember going to church every Sunday, boy Scouts, mm-hmm. you know, so I had other avenues and outlets to, to boost my gotcha. confidence. Okay. Uh, uh, shout out to Calvary Baptist Church Calvary. and all of my wow. man, all of my church members from back then. Those are my that's my family. Gotcha. My mothers, my aunt, my fathers, my aunts, my uncles. Okay. Okay. You know things of that nature. So I had support system, kind of sorta. Okay. So your spiritual background uh, was really um, how you dealt with your challenges. That was, uh, yes. Okay. I can say that at, at my in my younger ages. Yes. My younger yeah. stages, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So uh, when did you realize that, you know, at some point in my life, things were getting out of hand? Um, right? I'd have to say in my 20s, uh, after I graduated from uh, Brian and Stratton um, and being exposed to so many other, so many things outside of my uh my sort of box because my mom kept us isolated. She okay. always kept us active. Um, I did. We, we were involved with things like youth theater workshop, okay, uh, ethnic dancing, percussions, mm-hmm. okay. You know, so we 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 were always active children. Um, once I got into my twenties, I started um, experiencing drinking, mm-hmm. smoking marijuana, yeah, like we all, yeah, yeah, and. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, once I, my, my barber career started taking off, um, in the twenties, like I think I was like twenty five, twenty six when I was introduced to the Buffalo Bills. Okay, wow. You know, back those championship bills when we were going to those Super Bowls. Yeah, yeah. Well, Michael, those were my haircuts. Most of the brothers on that team, I um, I serviced. Okay. And not only did I service those gentlemen, I spent a lot of quality time outside the shop with those gentlemen. Wow. And everything that came with that, the wow. partying, the girls. Oh, yeah. You wow. Know, so I built up this uh, I built up this new person. His name was Twan. Right, right, right. I was right. born Antoine, so now I, I, I decided to reinvent Antoine and make Twan. <laughs> Well, you know, I, I remember that, you <laughs> yeah. know, and but I didn't know the coalition, you know, as far as the the two names. Oh yeah, you know, and like you said, Antoine and Antoine. Yeah, you know, and and that's true, you know, yeah. that's true. I think a lot of us do that in some oh, yeah. aspect, you know, unconsciously. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so we, yeah I, you know what, brother? Let me add this to to it. You know, some would say that, you know, at that time in your life that you were very cocky. Uh, I, I would I would say the you same know? thing. Yeah. Self obsessed, self absorbed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like um, I, I knew then that I had an addictive personality, mm. meaning that um, I was obsessive and compulsive okay. in every area of my life. You know, I, I I had this ego, like I was the best at everything that I did. Okay. I was, you know, I right, was, right. You know, I was I was like. Uh, like uh, bulletproof, man. Wow. Seriously, bulletproof, man. Wow. So and and and, and you got to remember too. Back then, uh, what were those like the 
the late 80s, 80s yeah. 90s, yeah, coming 90s. up into those 90s. Yeah, um, yeah. We had a lot of, uh, there was a lot of different uh, entertainment thing, facilities and nightclubs and stuff yeah, going on. We had yeah, options, absolutely. man. I can remember Monday through Sunday, man. Like, yeah. it was something going something on, on at every some, night. Yeah, every yeah. night of the week. <laughs> and, you know, and yeah. um, not only was something going on every night of the week, but closing times were four o'clock in the morning, and we still we party till still four o'clock and made it up for and, work. The that's next right. Day. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, that, right, man. Oh, you you tapping into something yeah, now, brother. So, but I'm telling Absolutely. you how my uh, my obsession and compulsive mm-hmm. starts growing in me. Right. So this Twine character is like uh, bigger than life. Right. So if you want to call it cocky, mm-hmm. um, so be it. But I, I like to say I was a little confident myself, a little overconfident. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, that's a that's who I became. Wow. So I was my my lifestyle kind of started spiraling though towards the end of that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this Twine character, mm-hmm. you know, let's stay there for a minute. Okay. So Twine, um, fatally hip and terminally cool. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. that. Fatally hip and terminally cool. Wow, I, I like that. I like that. <laughs> and we're you know because Twan was the was the person that mom built up. You know, is that it would it be uh, safe to say? Twan is the person that the community. Antoine, I'm sorry. Oh, Antoine my is my God given yeah. name. That's yeah. who my yeah my yes. mom intended me. Yeah. That's who God yes. intended me to be. Yes. Antoine means. Pioneer. Okay, I knew that from the be- from the very beginning. I got you. So Twan is who I created. Yes, me and my community and my stuff. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So in your in your in your mental uh, mindset, you wanted to put uh, Antoine to the side because, in some sense, you saw Antoine as the righteous square. Yeah, he was a square. Okay. The religious, oh, yeah. righteous, good, wholesome, yep. cross the young street man. at the light, right? Yep. <laughs> yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> All yeah. That's that is very interesting because a lot of us don't look at it that way. Oh yeah. Because in other words, we both we all have split personalities. Absolutely. At least two. I, when I say that I, I I have an addictive personality, there's at least at least two people. Wow. Now, as my life evolved, a couple more people emerged oh, yeah. in the process as well. And yeah. see, um, I don't. I'm, I'm rigorously honest with myself for one, Mike, mm-hmm. um, because I believe that I believe that experience has always been the best teacher. So I'm, I'm I'm pretty much conscious about you know my steps in life, and you know even though I know I was supposed to make the right decision, mm-hmm. Mom told me that fire was hot. I had to I had to see if that fire was hot. Right, right. So, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I don't believe that, Mom. Right, let me, right. Let me check, let me this, check out. this out for myself. So, um, but with that Twan, that Twan character, uh-huh. um, it came. You got to remember too. So, like in the '80s, the late '80s, we um, BT was on, and we right. had all of the hip videos. And yes. So I wanted to. Yeah. I wanted to live like some of those things I was seeing on TV. Wow. You know, um yeah. I I was in I had the opportunity to generate some some good revenue in my young stages cutting hair by cutting those Buffalo Bills guys. Right, and, right. You know, those guys was paying me a handsome penny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and so I was able to afford a lot of the things that right. my people in my, my peers and stuff what did you know, couldn't have and um I wanted to live out some of those video dreams. I wanted them big booty girls. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Twine had evolved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In well, that sense. you know what, Twine? Antoine, sorry. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> I would have one one bone to pick with you. One bone. What's that? You you didn't invite me to none of those. Ah! Buffalo Bill <laughs> sessions, brother. Like, well, I mean, I mean, like we 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 sat down. You know, right, you right. know, you know. I, I was paying. I, I may not yeah, pay yeah. as much as the bills paid, but I, you know, <laughs> you, you were you were right there, Mike. But let's, let let me tell you this. You see, this is how this is how Twan begins to uh, hurt himself because he starts to isolate. Mm. He doesn't want people to know everything that 
wow. that was going on with those professional athletes because a lot of people still don't know what was going on right. with those professional athletes. So that, that was a certain kind of yeah. people. Yeah, 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 yeah. To, yeah, yeah. Um, and, I, I and, 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 and I was indulging yeah. in some, some of the things that my mom wouldn't really approve of. Right, right, you right. You know, hanging out with these fellas, man. Yeah. And not really knowing the impact that it would have on my life. Right, right going forward yeah yeah so um, well from the heart brother i really appreciate you for not inviting me oh absolutely because i would have i would have gotten in trouble i mean straight up you know i mean you know we kick it you right, know right, me and you right, kick right. it right. i ain't gonna tell our audience you know mm-hmm. some of the things we talked about but at the end of the day we me and you was we, was, yeah. we saw things alike yeah we used to travel you know? to canada i remember yeah <laughs> going over the bridge was common back then <laughs> Yeah, it was common. Yeah, absolutely. So, so, so let's move forward. You know, in our conversation right. here. Um, so, at what point did you decide that you needed to make some changes? Um, I'd have to say <clears throat> during my um my reckless thirties. Okay, was, my life was real reckless. Um, taking a lot of chances i was doing some things that i knew could bite me in the end mm. but um mm. um i um i can remember hanging out one evening and um the people in my mom's neighborhood over there where i grew up at you know i, I never really hung out in the neighborhoods where i lived i always was on the outskirts traveling and things okay. of that nature and i remember this one evening i was out and uh this gentleman, like, um, in those years, I've developed, like, uh, some haters. Okay. And I remember this gentleman trying to tease me about having, I had a relationship with a woman that supposedly had contracted the virus. Wow. Right. And, HIV? Uh, HIV. Okay. And uh, and they, they started in the community, they started this coughing thing with me, where they would cough at me whenever they'd see me. Wow. Right and That's deep. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was a. It started out as a prank. Okay. And I wrote. I, I I dealt with it for. It was only in the neighborhood in the beginning. Okay. So we're talking, like maybe sixteen years ago. Okay. Seventeen years ago. Okay. And um, <clears throat> so I kind of blew it off and blew it off and, you know, months went by and I I could go into public places, man, because I was so. People knew my face yeah. from being, yeah. you know, um, a celebrity hairstylist kind of right, sort Right, right, right. Uh, and these people would be coughing at me, right? And it was, they would make me feel like it was a form of paranoia. Right, right. So I started thinking, like, well, maybe yeah. all of this, all these chemicals and alcohol and spirits I've been putting in me, I might be, right, right. you know, a little paranoid. So right. um, during it was during that phase when I realized, like, maybe I have a a problem, an addiction problem for real. Like, uh, not only was I obsessive and compulsive, but I had developed a symptom, which is the drug. Okay. So, um, my obsession compulsion is a part of me naturally, but the drug was just a symptom. Mm-hmm. So, um, I, at this time, my, my, my men, my pastor at the time, I, I was have personal relationship with him. Okay. So I went to him had a spiritual counseling with him and I told him what I was going through <clears throat> and we both agreed that I had a problem. So uh, this would start my journey into rehabilitation. I admitted myself uh, into a, a first step program Okay. and I went through the whole shebang, uh, detox, I went through uh, supportive living, independent living. Okay. I had the opportunity. I was so focused on being healed as a person because that prank turned into what I what I now call mental abuse. Right. Which developed into mental illness after studying today. Right, right. Um so I um I committed myself to Wanting to be at my fullest potential, like to totally heal myself, because mm-hmm. my self esteem was being shattered at the time. Right. And so I poured myself into these uh, self help meetings, and mm-hmm. you know, I gave, I gave, I was absent for at that time for about four or five years, up to four or five years. I, I, I linked up with Vesit. Okay. At the time, it was a program called Vesit, where they would 
as long as as long as you were dealing with chemical dependencies, uh-huh. they would pay for you to go to a technical school or whatever. Okay. And so I I took advantage of that and I went back to hair school. Cause okay. Today I I I have a master barber's license and a cosmetology license, so I'm a hairstylist. Yeah. I'm no longer a barber. Right. I'm a hairstylist. Um, <clears throat> but I did that in Niagara Falls. Okay. I had to uproot myself from the the chaos of the, the toxic okay. uh, community that I was involved in. Okay. But not really understanding, like, I, I had to, you got to go through some things and know some things. And I had to heal. Get, I got myself healed and came back to mm. a, a, a toxic environment. Right. Not knowing the challenges that I would have to face once I got here, but I thought I was ready. Okay. So um, I went. Th- I battled through that for about four or five years, trying to maintain my abstinence and trying to convince people that okay. this was a lie. Right. Right. You know. So I still deal with that. I still deal with that prank today. Okay. You know. Let me let me ask you a question, uh, Antoine. Mm-hmm. What would you say to our listeners? who don't necessarily look at the spiritual um, avenue mm. of be, being delivered, set free, or changed. Is that is that the only way? Listen, man, um, when I'm left up to my only devices, man, I'm insane. The mm-hmm. only thing that could restore me to sanity okay. is a, a a power greater than myself, and my power greater than myself happens to be God. Okay. Um, it starts with him. It ends with him. Mm-hmm. He will, when you spend time with him, he will give you the peace that surpasses all understanding. I know this for myself. Okay. So in that process, when I was over in Niagara Falls, I, d- I truly developed a prayer life. Okay. Um, my God and I have an intimate relationship. Okay. I start my day with him. I, um, I study texts. Okay. Um, I pray. I have a I have a vigilant prayer life. Um, while I was away over there in Niagara Falls, it afforded me an opportunity to have, to 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 get married. Okay. I have a helpmate. Mm-hmm. I help meet. Mm-hmm. She happens to be a minister, uh, a child of God herself, one dynamic woman, uh, and uh, so I would have to say that uh, without Christ, man. Okay. You, you 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 fail to you fail to re- repeat. Man. Yeah, absolutely. You're doomed to repeat. Uh-huh. Uh, but with him, all things are possible. Okay, okay. And 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 so, you know, everything that we that has been said here, you know, uh, in your in your story, mm-hmm. in your testimony, you made some decisions, right? Right. And you got to a place where. You know you needed a higher power, power, as you mentioned. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. God gives us, each and every one of us, a choice. Absolutely. So, you know, what would you say to, again, what would you say to those listeners who never had a relationship with a higher power? And they are stuck in their struggle and they cannot see themselves in a different place, in a better place, where is their foundation to to be able to come out of that? How about, um, I like to think that self-acceptance plays a major role. If you can't accept the part that you play in your shortcomings and not play the blame game, okay, um, then you're not ready for help. I got you. If you have self-acceptance on the part that you play and the position that you're in, mm-hmm. I would strongly suggest that you find you a church home, find you a group of people mm-hmm. that are doing something different. Yeah, um, yeah because like that's that. important too. You have to have a support a support group. Okay. You got to have people pushing you to be at your fullest potential. Gotcha. Um, and and nine times out of ten, it's a Christian person. Right. Right. You know. Right. So I keep myself surrounded around Christian believers, such as yourself. Okay. And, you know, other mm-hmm. people in my circle. I like to keep myself around um, God, God fearing people. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Because it's hard. It's you, it, without God, man. It's you in the struggle. You'll stay in the struggle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So if I was a, if I was a listener, and I was struggling with that, man, I'd, I'd I'd run to a church. Find me a church home, man. I'd find somewhere comfortable for me. 
Okay. That, that maybe, um, you see, when I was coming up, youth were seen and not heard. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So today's mm-hmm. churches are trying to reach out to the youth so mm-hmm. that so that they can have a um, a spiritual outlet, an outlet where they can go. Yeah. To be uh, a place of refuge, yes. so to speak. Okay. Um, because it's missing in our black community. It's very. It's really, really missing with our youth in the community. Yeah. 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 yeah you're right. So, what's your story today, man? Today I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wow. I am a come on. I am a masterpiece, man. <laughs> you know, um, I was created by God. All my gifts have flourished. See, in my prayer life, I ask God to, uh, I ask God to stir up all my gifts because okay. some of my gifts have become dormant in my, in my lifestyle and my active addiction, and uh, so He stirred up all my gifts and. And I just stay pushing forward. Uh, today I have my own business. Okay. Um, I have a I have a barber shop now called uh, Before and After. Okay. Um, I'm currently looking for ambitious technicians, okay. uh, with or without a license, because I'm I'm in a position in my life now. I'm 52 years old, and I can cultivate. I have the ability to cultivate. Okay. Some um, some some entrepreneurs. That's mm-hmm. interested in tontier service, complete barber service. Okay, okay. So, um, and I have a, I have a church home. Um, I'm just involved in so many different things in the community and pouring back into my community. Here okay, in okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So, where where can they get in touch with you? I can be reached at. Um, I'm, I'm currently my business is in the Utica Business Center at 11 East Utica. Okay, uh, Buffalo, New York. One four two zero eight. Okay. Uh, I can be reached also at my. Is it okay to give my number here? Absolutely. I can be reached at seven one six eight zero four one six eight nine. Once again, that's seven one six eight zero four one six eight nine. My name is Antoine Bradley, okay. and I'm good. I'm a good and faithful servant. So if you have any questions or any desire to uh, pursue. Beauty enhancement in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Please give me a call. Okay. All right. My second to last question, uh, Antoine. What advice would you give to others to become an entrepreneur or are looking to become an entrepreneur or uh, a business person? Uh, get involved with people that's already in it. Um, I had the opportunity to meet Lamont Williams. If you've never met Lamont Williams, who is the uh, proprietor of 11, the Yushutica Business Center, He's, that's a good place to start. You just you, you have to really do some research. You got to put some put some footwork in, man. You got that Google instrument on your phone? Google some stuff mm-hmm. and follow through on it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do some work, man. Okay, Ooh. okay. What else, real, real, really quick? Uh, what other goals do you have? Um, I, Mike, I, at the age of fifty two, I'm, 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 I've been really considering going back to school, man. Okay. Like I'm never too you're never too old to learn more, man. I'm I'm really thinking about going back to school. Um now what I wanna go back to school for is up in the air. I have so many different avenues, man, but knowledge is power. So I'm really interested in going back to school. Okay. Okay. Good man. Well listen, my brother, oh wow. You know, there's so many other questions that I could ask you, but you know what we gonna we're going to save them for our next show. I hope so, because no, I, I have a lot more to share with you. Oh, man. yeah, I know you do, yeah, brother. And we, we, we certainly are going to uh, pour, take out of you everything that we can get out of you. Because, brother, again, you know, so many years have passed by us. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we have had many conversations, as I mentioned earlier. And now we're able to share some of those conversations to listeners on the radio. You know, and I think that is so empower, you know, so powerful. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, you know, to everyone that's listening, you know, Antoine's uh, testimony is not for itself, but it's for you. And I just encourage you to listen to this show as many times as you like to get something out of this. There's no way in the world that um, sitting here on the other side, uh, uh, breaking bread with my brother right now, that he hasn't said anything that has not impacted me. And so to our listeners, male and female, at the end of the day, your dreams can come true. That vision and that purpose that God has ordained you for in life, 
at the end of the day, it's just a step away. And so here at w, uh, uh, WDAP Radio, um, turn it up live. We're just so grateful and honored to have you in our presence. And we're going to have you in our show um, early next year. Thanks for having that's, me. That's what we're looking for. You know, so I would like to, um, if you want to support and um, endure by telling everyone how to contact your business, um, again, tell us how they can reach you. I can be reached at 716-804-1689. My shop is located in the Utica Business Center at 11 East Utica. Okay. Feel free to stop in Tuesday through Saturday, Okay. 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. All right, all right. So our next uh, podcast show, will be having Mind, Body, and Soul Self-Care Part 2. Post your questions and topics, request, and like, like and follow us on Turn It Up Productions on Instagram, Facebook, and check out our website at www.turnitupproductions.com. Again, till the next time, this is Michael Anthony, and welcome to, and we say have a great day, Turn It Up Live. Your mind, don't forget the basics. It's your time, never wasted. You can be what you want, man. Don't let it tell you nothing. Work hard, believe in something. Turn it up.